What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Troy. Join me, of course, is my buddy Liam. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, guys? Alright, we are back with some more stray. Look at look at that majestic beast. That majestic beast. I just want to pet his pet his head, pat his belly, or actually scratch his belly, and then pat his head. I think I you know, those verbs are get, get confusing. But anyway, <laughs> Liam, what happened in the previous episode? So after we had uh, found Momo and uh, kind of gone through a bit of an understanding of uh, how he is and uh, how his uh, wire states are in uh, delicacy, uh, yeah, we kind of looked around trying to find the next port of call and uh, we've literally made our way through quite quickly trying to negate through this city of uh, platform jumping and stuff. So I think we're making good progress, and I don't think it will be long before we ha will make our way out of the sun. Make our way downtown, walking fast. And I'm homebound. <laughs> and it's copyrighted. Uh, let's go down. Ooh, a basketball! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I just saw a basketball. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Uh, hey! Toby! Oh, no air. It's not like that. <laughs> There's like literally no air in that in that basketball. <laughs> Flat as a pancake. All right, we're going to the final house here, the house of the T Targaryens. If if you have to start running across many more pipelines, we'll start calling you Mario. No, we were there already. Pretty sure we maybe. Yeah. Maybe we didn't. Maybe, yeah, maybe we didn't get the. Maybe we didn't grab the book. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because we weren't really looking for books before. We just kind of were exploring just to explore. I do love the like the almost like detective music. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Actually. Magnifying glass out. Yeah, I thought we found the book. Oh no, we were we were here before. We were definitely here. Before. I think we grabbed the book already. I think this is where Clementine. Well, no, Clementine was in the library. I'm so confused. Um, no, the book was here, right on on this table. Remember? Do you remember, Liam? Sorry, someone was walking along, uh, uh, yelling a whole bunch of profanities and stuff, possibly having a very dire phone call. Um, I believe we did have a look through here. We did find ourselves a, uh, a little something for the robot to explain to us, but I think that was literally as far as it had gone. We kind of kind of fixated on trying to find Momo at the time, so... Yeah. Because I... I don't see a book, and I, and I, I remember... Distinctively, there is something next to that keyboard, but I forgot what what it, what it is that we picked up. I mean, the only other place that we haven't got a book from was the library. Um, is there something? I can't even climb over here. Yeah, I mean, the only other place is the library. Interesting. Um, what does the hint say? What does the hint say? What does the hint say? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pointing back there. Is that the book? So, it, it's at the library. I thought we picked we, it up. Yeah, because... Actually, I think... We did pick up a book under a pile of books that was in uh, one of the small ha in one of the small apartments, but it yeah. might not have been in the bookstore uh, in the uh, library itself. I mean, it's fine. We'll go back, but maybe maybe we didn't grab it. Oh my god! I almost died. <laughs> I had to, I just had to verify that, guys. It's like uh, like I, I know we did something. Over there. Okay, that's where the other guy is. How do I climb higher? Okay. 
Can I climb higher? Oop, oh, it was a it was over there. I like I, the fact that this is, Momo, this is uh, yeah, it's Momo's place. Now, I like the fact that the graffiti is the robot's interpretation of human graffiti. You know what? You're right. I didn't even think about that, but that, that is very true. I think this is the library location. Oops, sorry, sorry. I'm a cat. You, don't get mad at the cat. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no policy for cat policy. <laughs> mm. I think this is the library. I think. No, no, this, this, this is not the library. Where was the library at? Is it out? No. I forgot which one's the library location. Okay, that's Momo. That's where that other book was. Maybe that one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Alright, so we're back here. He said the book was like... So he, he went over a whole stack of books. There, straight ahead. So yeah, we've been there. Unless... Mm, I was gonna say, unless the book is in that safe that we found. Because he was talking about a safe. Yeah. Find a keys to your safe. Is it the safe that we found earlier? It, it's, it's that's the only safe that we found so far. It yeah, literally. But it was a combo, though. Okay. Um. Yeah, it was a combo, but like, it was like a binary, so I don't think so. I don't yeah, think and there was no zero on the actual passcode, like uh, on the keypad. Is there another safe in here? Unless it's all ones. Wait, what, what happened there? Oh, come on! <laughs> I was trying to do something, it was like, it's like no one's a nap spot. Um, like, it fits, it sits. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I see a book here. Can I grab that book that he's holding? No, that's the translator. All right, um, let's go to part three of the video because uh, I'm lost. Okay. So after we find that note, we're walking, we're walking, we're cruising, we're walking, we're jabbing. Oh, okay. I would never have figured that out, guys. There is no way I would have figured that out. Oh, it's there is one in the live game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there, there was no way I was going to figure that out. It's basically see, here. The, this small team of cats that developed this game are a lot more cunning than we gave them credit for. Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, key. Right? Yeah. There it is. There's the book. All right, finally the last book. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna figure that out. No, no way. Uh, initial test was explosive. What? I will have to test it under real conditions. There's also a note in this book. It says I found a design flaw in the transceivers, but I think 
I found out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transistor. Ooh, plot thickens. Hey, that's big. Uh, if it was communication on the upper levels, that could be uh, way up. Let's show them what we found. Hell yeah, we will. Hell yeah, we will. It's show and tell time. All right. How do we get this library? Okay, here we go. <laughs> have you ever have you, uh, have you ever played Kingdom Hearts? I've played it once or twice, and uh, they were very random versions. They weren't kind of in any kind of sequential order, just randomly. Yeah, the reason why I bring Kingdom Hearts up is because there's one particular area uh, in the first one, I believe, um, and you're in a library that changes, and um, like that that. That small library reminded me of Kingdom Hearts when I got lost in an actual library. I was like, I'm just, I'm just trying to go home. Uh, I think it was this one. So yeah, you, you could easily get lost in library. Oops. Uh, the infinite library. Oh. <laughs> All right. Momo, we're back. Do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? No, they're not useless. Let's show you, uh... Uh... Sakara's, or what? Miss Sakara's. Uh, Sal... Salbal? How do you pronounce this anyway, do you know? Salbaltazar? I get... That, that sounds right. So, I think so. <laughs> I'd say so. That's Salbaltazar's like a... notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was quite wise. Okay, so he doesn't care about that one. So what about the Doc's notebook? That one he would definitely care about. Wait! You actually found all my friend's notebooks? Yeah, we did. Oh, what's that note? The transitions can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we, we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. What? Clementine, Sylvester, Doc, I'm sorry I doubt of my, our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to re reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Transceiver. Oh yeah, using those old monitors. Heck yeah, CRT style. If you, uh, uh, voila, it works. I'm French apparently. C come with me. I'm French. I'm, I'm French Japanese. He is <laughs> by the by the management of the manufacturers that put him together. So he could be parts of all over the world. Yeah, uh, up there, see that building high above the others. If you install the transceivers um, at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. All right, we get a new item. Nice. You're the only one small and quick enough to invade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky! Alright, cool. Uh, Alright. So that's what the little rat, the little, um, the little, uh, Half Life 2 aliens are called here Zerks. Is it really? Maybe, maybe the Zerk bugs? I don't know. Uh, potentially. Um, uh, but honestly, guys, this seems like a pretty good stopping point. We did quite a lot. Very, we achieved. All that we could achieve so far, um, and we um, uh, we had to use a little hints, unfortunately. But uh, it's not cheating when when I say so. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys are here and still here, thank you for the view, and we'll definitely see you next time. There, guys. Please, it's not cheating, right? Right, Liam, not cheating at all. None. Uh, none, not at all. Uh, up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, X. <laughs>